Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to crochet this really pretty, very simple snowflake. To begin, you're going to need an F-sized hook in 3.75 millimeter. I'm using this Bernat baby weight yarn and it's just a blue. A yarn needle is extremely handy for sewing in ends and a pair of scissors. To begin, you're going to make a slip knot. Wrap the yarn around your finger twice, grab the back loop, pull it to the front, and then grab what is now the back loop and pull it off your finger. And that creates a really easy slip knot. You are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. And there's the ring. Now you're going to chain three, or sorry, you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to double crochet 11 into this ring. This chain four at the beginning will count as our first double crochet and chain one because we're going to place a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Then you're going to chain one and do your next double crochet. chain one and another double crochet. Continue in this fashion all the way around until you have 11 double crochet and of course your chain four at the beginning. So you're going to have um, 12 double crochet total separated by a chain one space. To complete round one you're going to make sure and chain one and then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain. So we have 12 double crochet. You're going to chain one and single crochet into the top of the very first chain. Now you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This yarn likes to split a little bit. Then you're going to single crochet down into the space that makes that chain from that chain one. You could probably chain into, I mean, sorry, you could probably uh, single crochet into that um, chain one space, but, or the chain one itself, but I find just single crocheting down into it is much easier. Now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into that chain one space. And then you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, single crocheting into the chain one space, and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you want to do that all the way around. You're going to alternate between chaining six and chaining five, and then chaining six again, and then chaining five, and single crocheting down into those chain one spaces. Go ahead and complete this round, and I will see you in just a moment. At the very end of round two, the very last loop is actually going to be a chain two, and then you're going to double crochet into this single crochet, our very first single crochet. Okay, so it's going to look like that. That was a chain six, and then you're going to move into this chain two and double crochet. This round should have six chain six loops, and then you should have five chain five loops, and then number six will be this um, chain two and double crochet. Okay, now we are going to chain two for, uh, to begin round three. One, two. And we're going to double crochet two into this chain six loop. 
So double crochet one and two. And now we're going to do what looks like actually a little pico, which is this little thing right here. And we are going to make, it's going to be a little bit of a larger one, so it's going to be chaining four. So going right from that last double crochet into a chain four, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then you're going to just slip stitch back into that double crochet. And if you can see from the video, I'm grabbing the two yarns that are just sticking right there like that on that double crochet, kind of on the side of it. And we're just slip stitching. Now we're going to triple treble crochet. And you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same chain six loop, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over again and pull through the second two loops, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Now we're going to do the very largest pico, and this is this very one on top, and you're going to chain six for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do that again. We're going to slip stitch down into the top of that last stitch. Then we're going to do another triple treble. And you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into the ring, pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, for, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Yarn over once more and pull through the last two loops. Now we're going to do the second small pico which is going to be one, two, three, four, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that stitch, and we're going to do two double crochet onto the other side to even out this part of the snowflake. So that is what it's looking like. Chain two, one, two, and single crochet into the chain five. And it's really pretty if you find the third chain and actually single crochet right into it. It kind of holds everything together. I tried just going into the loop with the single crochet and it does not look as nice. So that's where we are right here. Chain two, one, two, and now we're going to do this whole piece again into this next chain six space. Double crochet, two, one, two, chain four, one, two, three, four. Create your pico with a slip stitch. Triple treble, yarning over twice, one, two, three, and create your large pico on top with one, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitching. Do your second triple treble. Make your second small pico on top of that second triple treble. That's chaining four and slip stitching. And double crochet two. There's one and two. Chain two, one, two, and single crochet into that third chain. Right like that. Okay, so you'll have two double crochet, two triple treble, and two more double crochet, followed by a chain two space. I'll do one more with you, and then you guys can finish the round. So we have one, two, chaining two out of that single crochet, double crochet two into the chain six space, chain four for our first pico, one, two, three, four, slip stitch to complete the pico, triple treble right from here. Create our large pico with six chain, 
slip stitching to complete. The second triple treble. Then our second small pico with four chain. And two double crochet to complete this point of the snowflake. You're going to chain two and single crochet into that third chain from the chain five. And this is how pretty it's looking. All right, go ahead and complete this round and you're going to do this whole set in each of the chain six spaces and I will see you in just a moment. Here we are just completing round three and I have six of the um, little points. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And right here you want to chain two lastly and slip stitch to the top of that double crochet that we did. Grab your scissors, snip your yarn, pull through and through, and there is our beautiful little snowflake. And you can make a mixture of um, glue and water if you like, and go ahead and pin this out, and it will be much more stiff and ready for the tree. This one I crocheted much tighter, so it wants to be a little bit um, more ready, right, like that. But there they are. I think they're so pretty. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video, comment on it, let me know how you're going to use your snowflake. And thank you all so much for subscribing. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!